Look here, look here, folks. Now that's a big one right there. That's a darn big one right there. I'm gonna lift him too. I will, but take your time. Don't lose him. Oh no, no, I don't want to lose this one, boy. He tapped it. I mean, just right there, boy. Look at look at that ball. Oh, that's a good one. Let's get him right here. Got him. <laughs> That's a better fish than what I caught. Well, that's a good That's fish. a good one. That's a, that's, a little that's a five and a half. That's a six pounder. Well, I tell you what. I believe it could be more. Boy, that's a chunk. Yeah. Now we're doing it. <laughs> I was about right. Yep. 570. No. Is she going to weigh? 565. That's still a good that's fish a good right fish. there. That's a good fish. Good solid head. Oh, fish. my, yeah. my, my. You can tell these fish are getting ready to spawn, so they're putting their little guts on there. Yeah, the yeah. females is fat, gutted, full of eggs. Yep. I'm going to walk down here. Yeah. Those. We think catch another <laughs> Don't slip now. Uh -oh. <laughs> it can happen. Okay. That's a good one, Rocky. <laughs> well, good morning, folks. It's Richard Jean, the fishing machine. Well, springtime is here. It's time the lizard fish right there. That's a zoom lizard. I'm here with a special guest, special friend. We're gonna do a little bass fishing here from the bank. Hey, man. Whoa! Why is a lizard effective in the springtime? Well, there's a lot of theories. One, which I agree with, lizards looks a lot like salamanders. Salamanders eats bass eggs. So Priest during the pre-spawn period and during the spawn, bass definitely react to lizards, either by hunger or anger. And when it comes to fishing a lizard, over the years I have figured out this to be a fact. If I want to catch, get twice the amount of bites, what I'll do, and it has a lot better action, it appeals to the bass a lot more, in my opinion, and I found it to be a fact. I mean, I just believe it's a fact. But I will trim this leg off, this leg off, cut the head off, and then rig it, Texas rig it. And when I'm fishing a lizard in shallow water, I use as least bit of weight as I possibly can. And that's going to be a 1 16th of an ounce bullet weight. I size two alt EWG hook. I'll Texas rig it, run the hook plumb through, and then text pose it, which means running the hook all the way through and then skin hooking the point, which I've shown before. This is an excellent bait right here to get twice the amount of strikes. And believe it or not, even though it's a small profile, or it is now after trimming it, to catch Big bass. Big bass love it in the springtime. Give it a try. All right, folks. Here's a big log laying down in the water right here. And there's one right here. Now, this one right here is submerged. Let's ease down here. Okay. I'm going to start right here shallow and work this trunk. That tree's laying out this way. 90 degrees to the bank, it's straight out. So I'm gonna start right here by the bank and then gradually pitch to the log, let that bait fall. Now I'm using a 1 16th of an ounce bullet weight right now. This is a two alt Gamagatsu hook and a zoom lizard. I forget what kind of color they call this. Sharp truth tail and it's purple. With looks like green metal fleck in it. I know the name of the color, but I forgot it. Rocky just told me a while ago. It's a tequila sunrise. Is that the name of this lizard? No, Junebug. Junebug with a sharp truth tail. Rocky had a whole pack of them. But this water's not very deep. Probably three and a half, four feet deep. And these fish should be right up against the bank. Boy, that's a good looking deal right here. I'm gonna stay back just a little bit. 
so not to spook one if one's there which they should be some fish right here beside the bank when it comes to fishing for big big bass they're a different critter than just regular bass fishing when i come up on a target like this where i feel like there's a there's a bass what i'll do is just pitch and pitch and pitch and pitch and pitch and pitch i will work this tree every inch of it and then some repetitively casting uh to get a bite because big bass are a lot different folks than fishing for small fish you got to be a lot more precise stealthy <laughs> there's fish oh that ain't a bad one right here at all oh my That ain't a bad one at all. Okay, he's done. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. You quit that. I thought he was bigger than that the way he hit, folks, but it don't make any difference. That's a pretty fish right there. He ain't real gutted. He should be gutted more than that, but he's still a nice fish. Well, there he is, folks. That's two bass I've caught right there. That fish ain't as gutted as I thought it would be. But that's probably a male because I'm going to tell you all the truth. I lost a big fish, about a 10-pounder. No. Uh, I threw back in the same place, kept trying to make that fish hit, and the smaller one hit it. But um, what we're going to do... Let's try to catch a 10 pounder. Doggone it. Rocky. <laughs> That's the way it goes sometimes, okay. ain't it? We just got here, folks. We just got here. <laughs> but I, I seen that fish and I know it was at least 10 pounds. Oh, wow. But let's let this one go. I got you. That's still a good fish. Well, now, you wasn't out of the water that long. Get on back in there. There we go. Now, I'm using a seven and a half foot sow belly rod, medium action. You talking about some leverage. It's a long rod, not too stiff, but not wimpy. It works out just right, right here. I'm using a 14 pound test leader, fluorocarbon leader, tied the braid with a double uni knot a leader my leader is about five and a half six feet long and i'm using a 3000 size fago lt3000 which is nothing but a diawa all right folks i'm back right here's where i stuck that old big fish and just got done catching that pretty good one but i mean there's a big one in there if she hadn't moved now all it is is a big limb down in the water. Tell you what, folks. It's just hard for me to quit when I know how big... There's a fish. Got him. Got him. That's a good one right here. That's a doggone good one. There we go. That ain't the one. But it's a good fish. <laughs> That's not the one. That ain't no 10 pounder, but that's a good bass. I'm excited, folks. I love bass fishing. I love the challenge of it. That's about a two and a half pounder at least. So let's let him go right here. Golly, I don't know where that big fish went. There's no telling. That's a good one though. I tell you, a lizard this time of the year in the springtime is hard to beat. Real hard to beat. In fact, I'm going to say it's my number one, in my opinion, bait to throw. I think it's a salamander. And as y'all know, salamanders eat bass eggs. Now, what I did right here, this works for me on a 
a lot of times a lot of times I'll catch more bass if I'll cut the the two legs off the front and the head and use the bait just like that I'll triple not triple or double my bites let me put it that way I'll double my bites oftentimes just by doing that see that water ain't very deep it's probably about three feet deep all kinds of debris but it's an overcast day so as y'all know bass will tend to loosen up from the heavy heavy stuff and patrol patrol around looking for something to eat especially on an overcast day so really i feel like i'm fishing a high percentage way right now especially with this little bitty one sixteenth of an ounce bullet weight i can fish the bait very very slowly keep it in the strike zone longer now i hadn't tried we out i've dissected that tree pretty good but let's make a long cast out there on the very end of it never know that water is a little deeper out there but not much Not much at all, not over a foot. It's probably four feet, so. Now I feel limbs coming off of that tree. There's fish. Oh my. That's a good one right here. Let's get him out of there. Come on out of there. That fish was all up in them limbs and I come on out with him. Okay, and standing in the same place. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a chunk. Chunky fish right there. I, I tell you what. That's a pretty little chunky bass. I've caught four bass, and I hadn't even moved from this spot right here. There you go. Thank you, Rocky. I had to walk up here where Rocky was to get that hook out of there. It was in the bottom of his tongue. That's a nice fish. He ain't bleeding. There ain't nothing wrong no, with that, Rocky. Every time me and Rocky goes, we catch them. <laughs> they ain't no doubt. That's a nice fish. Little up and comer. Yep. That would be, what, a pound heavier next year or more? So They grow pretty fast in here. Let's let him go. Go on back there. There he goes. Whoa. There's nothing to do but catch another let's catch another golly i want y'all look at that y'all see that now that's how big it ain't it i don't know what could have left that in. my ned that's a good one these big fish will, will hold together they'll hang together a lot of times especially in the spring the beginning of pre-spawn, I mean, period. I think the key to this is working that bait slow. Especially for bigger bass. The water temperature is still cold. I mean, it's like, I don't know, 60 degrees probably. If that, 58 to 60 degrees. There's a fish. Oh, me. That must have been a bluegill or something because he turned it loose. There's a fish. Oh my. That's a good one. There's a good one. Get out of there. That ain't a bad one at all. If I just keep her out of there, out of that old heavy stuff. Yeah, <laughs> oh man, good bass, good bass, oh my, 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 that ain't no 10 pounder, by no means, but that's a good fish right here, folks, Woo! now I feel a little bit of redemption, not much, but a little bit, there's a good one right there. 
that's what we're talking about right there. Uh, <laughs> oh, me, let's go show Rocky this fish right here. I tell you, Rocky is a gentleman. What he's doing is letting me. He stayed back there, folks, and he let me have all this water right here. Uh, and what we're doing is just fishing objects. But he held back there and he let me fish that water first so I could catch me a big one. Now, ain't that sporty? <laughs> huh? That's a good one. He ain't that 10 pounder that we've been losing, but let's just see what he weighs, Richard. Let me get him. Let me get him unstuck right here. Can I borrow your pliers? Well, they eating that thing. They're eating it. There's something about that sharp tree's tail, I think. Yeah. There you go. All right, let's just wait this. It's not <laughs> a great old It's not, but hey. it's a good bass. Okay. You can't complain about that. Well. It's a blessing is what it is. And thank you for letting me have all that front water. <laughs> he did that. 490, almost a five pounder. I'm I'm tickled with that, folks. That's a good fish. It? it is a good one. There we go, buddy. But now it's a baby compared to what's in here. It sure is. Woo! I know she was a good one. I stuck her. <laughs> Let's let her go. Now, Rocky, you get in here and. You better fish. I'm good. Here's your plars. It's your time. We don't have to catch a 10 pounder every day to be satisfied, I don't. <laughs> no, <laughs> five pounders is good enough. Well, really a pounder is good enough. Let's let her go. That's a female right there. There she goes. Well, folks, we're here at a country store right here. Look here, what a big old bologna sandwich and some Doritos. Now, when I was young, I didn't have to. When I was young, I didn't have to take a break. But you got to have bologna sandwiches like that right there when you get older. Now, let's see. Now, are you eating your bologna sandwich? Look at that. That's a big one, ain't it? <laughs> Look how thick that bologna is, boy. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go back and see if we can catch a double-digit fish. That's what we're after. But before we do that, we're going to eat a bologna sandwich. We'll see y'all back. He's talking about a mess. Rocky, what in the world? Well, I ain't squirrel, huh? Is it a mess, though? It's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I tried to throw it. But it just didn't work. Now, this happens to a lot of people, don't it? If you fish... It does. <laughs> it's just part of it, ain't it? <laughs> Thank you, Rich. You're welcome. There you go. There's a fish, folks. Oh, that's a good one. There's a good one. Now, that might be your seven or eight pound fish right here. Oh, that's a good one. Y'all seeing that? Probably couldn't because my doggone hands was in the way. There we go. I've been after his butt. Oh, he come off. Doggone it. Y'all seen it. Oh, now I can tell y'all how much he weighed. That fish right there was probably, no, 12 pounds. <laughs> no, that fish wasn't that heavy. I don't know what the deal is. Let's make another cast. That's all I know to do. Golly, that was a big fish. <laughs> oh. All I know to do is let's catch another one. And there's a bite right there. There's a, good, there's a good one right there, too. Another good one. But not like I lost. Now, we'll get this one in. Boy, this is something else. We'll get this one in. 
because he ain't an eight, nine, or ten pounder. But that's fine. <laughs> oh, I'm excited, folks. My goodness. Look here, what a fish. That's still a good one. I'm gonna go show Rocky this one too. But I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell him the story of what happened, and y'all seen it. That fish I lost, folks, no kidding, was anywhere between eight to ten pounds. Eight to ten pounds. And I, I don't I don't stretch it. Rocky, I got a, I got something to tell you. And this is the truth. I got it on camera. I, I lost about an eight or ten pounder. Again? I, I had her whooped, had her about whooped, and she come up for that last time and shook off. But I got it on here. Good day. So we're going to put that on the video so that you'll know I'm not telling you a story. I, I, I and this one is just a baby compared to it. This way, this. This end down there where that curve is. Yeah, yeah. They're on nothing, but there's fish in there right now. Yeah, the wind's blowing down there. Yeah, you need to come in there with me because right. they're in there thick. Let's weigh this and just put a point out. We're going to just see what a... That's a, that's a four-pounder, maybe. Maybe. See what it weighs. Right there. Look at that. Uh, four... Well, 385. Close enough. Yeah, but now I'm not... I'm coming down there. I got it on video. It was eight or ten pounder. Turn Why it. that happened, I don't know. It it's just part of fishing. It I, is. It's just part of fishing. <laughs> let's let him go. <laughs> you can't win them out, but why does those big ones have to come off? They just got a knack for it, don't they? <laughs> Usually not. Usually I get them. <laughs> but not today. Well, I'm going to come down there with you. But that's okay. Fishing is a sport second to none. Let's let him go. Come on down there with me and help me. They're stacked up in there. Yep. Well, folks, I'm out of them, but the June bug, six inch June bug with shark truth tail was the bait for this lake. It was the color for this clarity of water. We tried a lot of different colors and this one, well, it just shined. I believe it's kind of the shark truth tail. It could have been, but we caught some good fish. I enjoyed fishing with Rocky Drake today had a had a blast. Check out Rocky's channel, Rocky Drake Outdoors, and hey, woo, dog, don't it? Woo. And to remember, go fishing when you can. Ball call this good fishing.